How many countries are currently sinking? I hate that we have to make a video on this guys, but this is the sad reality of the world right now. The word sinking is a tad bit misleading though, so let's clear some things up. Usually when we think of something sinking, we think that it's falling beneath the surface of a liquid. A boat, for instance, will become damaged, take on too much water, and then sink to the bottom of whatever body of water it is on. Oftentimes, we don't consider that something is sinking necessarily, when the body of water that it is in rises and it doesn't. For the most part, that's what we're going to be looking at today though. Worldwide, ocean levels are rising to unprecedented heights. Land that used to comfortably sit above the water is now fully emerged in water that never used to be there. The land itself, again, for the most part, isn't moving down, the water is just moving up. This is happening all over the place right now, and even though most of you watching this video aren't feeling the negative effects and ramifications of this, there definitely are people out there who are. But how many people are seeing this firsthand and watching as our world is slowly consumed by water? How many countries are currently sinking? Well, first off, let's figure out why this is happening. The short answer to that question is something that I'm sure all of you are very aware of at this point climate change. Climate.gov says, global warming is causing global mean sea level to rise in two ways. First, glaciers and ice sheets worldwide are melting and adding water to the ocean. Second, the volume of the ocean is expanding as the water warms. A third, much smaller contributor to sea level rise is a decline in the amount of liquid water on land aquifers, lakes and reservoirs, rivers, soil moisture. This shift of liquid water from land to ocean is largely due to groundwater pumping. Now they go on to say that, as global temperatures continue to warm, additional sea level rise is inevitable. How much and by when depends mostly on the future rate of greenhouse gas emissions. But another source of uncertainty is whether big ice sheets in Antarctica and Greenland will melt in a steady, predictable way as the earth gets warmer, or whether they will reach a tipping point and and rapidly collapse. Every four or five years, NOAA leads an interagency task force that reviews the latest research on sea level rise and issues a report on likely and unlikely but plausible amounts future sea level rise for different greenhouse gas and global warming pathways. In the 2022 report, the task force concluded that even on the pathway with the lowest possible greenhouse gas emissions and warming, global mean sea level would rise at least 0.3 meters above 2000 levels by 2100. On a pathway with very high rates of emissions that trigger rapid ice sheet collapse, sea level could be as much as 2 meters higher in 2100 than it was in 2000. So this is a very real thing that is not only happening right now, but it's been happening and it will continue to happen in the future as well. I know that maybe 2 meters doesn't seem like a crazy amount, but when you think that this is going going to happen worldwide, it really starts to get pretty scary. But if the worst possible case happened and all the ice melted in the world, then let's look at what that world would look like. This is a map of America if all of the ice around the world melted. Major cities would now be completely underwater as well as hundreds of kilometers of land. New York, Houston, San Diego. We are talking about millions upon millions of people who now need to evacuate their homes and move to a totally new spot. This is just America as well. Moving over to Southern Asia, we can see that they too are going to be in deep waters, literally. Tokyo, Hong Kong, Shanghai, Mumbai, major cities that are completely underwater now with millions of people out of their homes. So ultimately, the answer to the question that we're asking how many countries are currently sinking is all of them. If you think about it, as the sea levels rise, even those furthest in the land are also sinking. However, you didn't click on this video to just hear that. You want to know which countries are currently sinking where the threat is imminent. Well, for the following list of countries, they could actually disappear completely off the face of the planet by 2100. Kiribati, the Maldives, Vanuatu, Tuvalu, the Solomon Islands, Samoa, Nauru, the Fiji Islands, 
and the Marshall Islands. The nine islands that I just listed are all small island developing states. That's what they're classified as and they will be the first victims of this rising sea level. Most of the islands that I listed there are located in the Pacific Ocean and are very far from other major land masses, making it very difficult for the people there. The nation of Tuvalu has already slowly started their evacuation process, moving the citizens over to New Zealand. It is simply a matter of time for these countries. The sea levels will eventually take them, we just don't know when that will happen. You could also make the argument that some bigger countries are sinking as well. The images we pulled up earlier showed what the world would look like if all the ice melted. But we also don't need to have all the ice melt to still have damaging impacts. The United States for instance. We don't really think about them as sinking, however, Miami, Houston, and New Orleans are all massive cities with millions of people that are actually at a pretty real risk of sinking in the not so distant future. They are all regularly hit with floods and those will only become more frequent as time goes on. Alexandria in Egypt, they are at severe risk of sinking because the Mediterranean Sea could rise a crazy amount in the coming century. Rotterdam in the Netherlands is a city where 90% of it is actually below sea levels. If the water gets high enough, then it will just funnel into the city and flood all of it. Bangkok in Thailand is another one that is actually a pretty unique example. Earlier in this video, I talked about how usually the conventional understanding of the word sinking has an object falling below liquid. Well, in this case, the city is actually falling. You see, Bangkok is a massive city with tons of people in it that just so happens to be built on soft clay. Simply put, Bangkok is so bloody heavy at this point that the clay is feeling the effects and because it is soft clay, being pushed down. Considering the sea level is rising as well, Bangkok is on a horrible trajectory where it could be totally underwater by 2050. This is happening to a lot of the southeastern Asian countries and the big cities that are there. The one that's on everyone's list right now that is in major trouble is Jakarta. Jakarta is a huge city in Indonesia that has over 10 million residents. In the last 10 years, parts of the city, specifically North Jakarta, have literally sunk two and a half meters. That is a ridiculously scary statistic. They are another one where by 2050, things could totally be submerged and millions could be uprooted from their homes. This is happening right now, guys, and even though they aren't fully submerged yet, don't think for a second they aren't feeling the effects. If you look up Jakarta sinking on Google Images, you will see countless pictures of residents walking through the city with water literally up to their waist. There are tons of countries that are being affected by this right now, and even though it might seem like a cop-out, the correct answer for this question truly is, all of the countries are currently sinking. But please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What can we do to tackle this rising sea level and what should be our next steps? Also, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Nicholas Playlog, and I will catch you next time.